Done. So what we're finding here are, are buttons, <laughs> which are in the dirt for probably over 100 years. This even has a number eight on it. And you see beautiful decorated, fine polished, and uh, we're digging here, you know, we're finding... So <laughs> what's the fate of these pieces that you found? Are they going back to Kufstein? You know, they're going back to Kufstein. We will definitely analyze the glass to see what kind of mixture of compo composition it is. And uh, then we will exhibit it and show it, Put it in to the, visitors to our Kufstein screen. factory and uh, where we have a little museum. Mm -hmm. And just to show how much uh, there is still remaining under, under soil that uh, talks about uh, the history of the, of the Riedel glassmakers, back, going back to the first generation. I mean, this is quite incredible. So we're here in the Isar Mountains, and uh, we came here with a group of friends to learn more about the past of the Riedel family. I always learned that I am the 11th generation, and one day you become curious, and the curiosity had to be fed, so I invited friends to join me on a journey to learn more about my past. I wanted to learn about the generations prior from the Riedel family, prior to my family moving to Kufstein, Austria. Going to Bohemia, which is today Czech Republic, gave us the opportunity to visit the places where the Riedel started and uh, will be next year 260 years where the third generation Riedel started his work as glassmaker and entrepreneur. And it was fascinating to see how much alive the Riedel history is still in those areas. These are construction plans for the crypta. Mm -hmm. where the burial place. The burial place. In detail. These are the original papers and we find them here on site. Um, quite impressive. They have seen them. I mean, you have to understand that here, the sixth generation had them in his hands because he had to obviously sign off. He was paying for them. So here we have uh, documents which are original. So you know that these plans were here? No. This is the first time we're seeing them. It's the first time we've seen them, yeah. The past is nice to have. It is something which uh, gives us the heritage. It's good to reconnect with the people and the history. But I never look back. I enjoy the present and uh, I'm very excited about the future. However, looking in the rear mirror tells you who you are, where you come, what kind of DNA is in your veins. Uh, this is very emotional. In every room you believe to feel your ancestors and the spirit of your ancestors. It's a very personal journey and I needed to do this journey uh, for myself. I needed to come back to the roots, this kind of source of energy and to feel my ancestors whom I've never met. To see how interested Max is in the past and how genuine he supports uh, the history of the Riedel, his compass is set in the right direction. It was very important for me to do this trip uh, with people that I'm very close to because I work with them on a daily basis, because I respect what they do. And they are ambassadors. They are people who uh, live from Riedel, with Riedel, and they enjoy working with us. And I wanted to give them as much of a routine that I have experienced here, to see and learn where glassmaking culture came from, uh, to understand it better, to understand that these days because all we have heard, either we read on books, in books, or we have heard from generations like my father or my grandfather, but we have never had the chance to experience it. Here, yeah. unbelievable. Glass rods. It's unbelievable how the glass holds up in the soil. And it's for sure for many more generations to come. So I'm here with my friends and we're having a great time because we're digging up history. That's what I like about Europe, for example, versus North America. In North America, you turn a stone and you make history, and here you turn a stone and you find history. It's unbelievable. I wanted to see if, if the past is still present. I wanted to see if uh, the people who joined me in this trip were as much amazed as I was a few years back. And if they felt the same kind of vibe and excitement, then I definitely want to invite journalists from around the world 
to see an experience and to understand that what we tell, what we as a brand communicate is all true. We are in business since 11 generations. We are dedicated to glass. Glass flows in our veins. Glass is what uh, we do. So I invite uh, people from around the world to come and join us on this trip to Czech Republic and see where the family has its origin.